Hey guys, I'm going to be teaching you how to mod your gamertag using EasyGT 2.2. What you're going to be needing to do the mod is a hard drive or a memory card and a transfer cable and these two programs. You need, need uh, Export 360 or Explore 360 and you're going to need EasyGT 2.2. So getting started, what you're going to need to do is hook up your hard drive to your computer using a transfer cable click file open hard drive or memory card choose your um, hard drive or memory card click OK just uh, click the first plus if you're using uh, memory cards could be the partition 2 for hard drives partition 3 then you're going to double click content and then uh, your profile should show up here it's the one that has the letters and numbers not just the zeros so double click that it's the FFFE071. Um, then there's going to be just one folder in there. And then there's going to be um, this folder right here. Um, in this video, forget about the dot back. That's for another mod for Gears of War 2. Just go ahead and drag your normal profile onto your desktop. And then um, open up EasyGT 2.2. Now from here, it's all simple. You don't need to do any of the hex editing. It does. You don't need Modio. It does the rehashing and resigning. It's um, it's all the programs you need for gamertag modding in one. So click the blue man, open, go to where you um, copied your profile. I did it to my desktop. Go ahead and open it, and it'll say your gamertag. My gamertag's point three sixty malicious. I'm gonna be doing. Um, you just type it in. You just click whatever and then you can type it in you can add all the buttons and the colors for the colors you put it before it and um, you can also um, do all these uh, all these profiles um, I'll get more into this monitor profile number later and for advanced if you do add hex 0d that makes your gamertag completely invisible and this makes your gamertag go down but I've had problems with it it doesn't let me play in games so I'm going to do malicious mods. I'm going to add uh, blue and oh, looks like I ran out of room already. You can only do yeah, you can only do a certain amount of characters. So oops. All right, so malicious mods and you're gonna go save and then just save them all to your desktop to make it easier on yourself and then the folder will pop up over here it's gonna look different from this one because it's an entirely new profile um, so I'm just gonna go ahead and make a couple of them here now um, when you're making several profiles your first one's gonna be the zero then every time you make a new one before you save it, click the arrow and move one um, number or letter down, and then you can just save it to your desktop. Alright, so um, I'm just going to do those for now. So now I have these three profiles, and um, you can just leave um, Export 3, I mean, EasyGT alone, open up Export 360, and then go back to the content file where it shows your um, profiles. So just take the ones that are on your desktop and drag them in. If you can't drag them in, they're called UAC controls. Um, which stands for user activated controls go ahead and google that and it will tell you how to remove that off of your computer so you can drag and drop into this export 360 when you hit um, using the gamer tags if you guys are confused what you're gonna do is um, you're going to sign out at the dashboard or later but sign out at the dashboard launch modern warfare 2 <clears throat> select your hard drive that you have the modded profiles on and then start it up 
it'll tell you to sign in. Sign into the modded one, the one that you want to use, um, like the modded gamer tag, and then go to Xbox Live, and it'll tell you that it is invalid and you can't use it. Then it'll make you sign into another profile. Then sign into your normal profile. So if I, I would sign into this one, it would tell me I can't use it. Then I'd sign into my normal one, and then you just um, click Xbox Live, and you're ready to go. That's what you have to do every single time. So you have options to switch to your profiles. Uh, rate, comment, and subscribe, and I'll talk to you guys later. If you have any questions, drop a comment.